Here's how I took this four hour edit and made it in less than an hour using CapCut, the sponsor of today's video. Between scripting, adding your storyline, placing your clips, adding different video effects, different sound effects, and all the different things that come with making a video, the editing process takes a lot of time. And anything that you can do or use to help speed up your process allows you to get that much better at your craft and make more projects. Really, the main idea in this video is I'm gonna be helping you speed up your video editing process so that way you are going to be able to work on more projects in a quicker span of time and avoiding burnout as much as possible. To start, the pre-production process usually is what ends up taking the longest. Planning what you're going to say in your videos and also thinking about your talking points often takes the longest and can take hours on end. To turn this process into just a few seconds or even a couple of minutes, we're going to open up CapCut and we're going to use their AI Writer tool. For this, we're going to be using the search terms photography tips and composition. Now, based off whatever YouTube video you're gonna be filming, I'd recommend searching a key tip or key point in your niche that will really help you speak to that audience. Now that we've got CapCut opened up, we're just gonna click on the script to video. Then we're gonna click on write your own script. Click on the AI writer, general topic, photography tips. Click enter. And then it'll take a little bit here, but it'll do its intelligent creation. And then we'll get a script. And with this first script here, I don't mind it, but I want something that's a little bit more numbered as well as a little bit more information. So I'm gonna just click on this second one and see if it does more information for me. That one wasn't quite as much as I'm looking for, but we'll see if this one provides a little bit more. And I'm liking how this is looking, so I'm just gonna take all of this, then I'm gonna copy it and put it into a new doc. Now, once again, we're gonna be doing the same thing, but this time we're gonna look up photography composition. So we'll just go over to script to video, write your own script, AI writer, and then we're gonna look up photography composition. Then we'll just have it search that and we'll see what it comes up with here on the intelligent creation. Now with this first one, I don't really mind it. It's not too bad, but I'm gonna take a peek at the other ones, see if there's anyone that have a little bit more information. Um, just really looking for stuff that makes the video a little bit longer, um, things for me to talk about. And I think just kind of like taking a glance at it, I like the length of this. So I'm just gonna go and copy this and then bring it into a new document. Now, one thing I wanna note is that when you take this AI writing and you put it into a new Google Doc or whatever kind of doc you're using to make your notes on, make sure to go back in and kind of reword it. Make it in your own words, make it say something similar, and then also add in other points and other details that make it more of kind of your own thing. Um, I'm sure as many of you know, there are plenty of people who talk about photography. There's plenty of people who just talk about every single concept and it can get kind of repetitive. So the main way to help differentiate yourself and even it's a way that I do it in my videos um, is through taking information that's already been said and already been done and then making it with your own flavor, adding your own personal experience to it versus just saying these like ideas and information that people already know, making it into something that's personable that you can relate to and that helps kind of share your experience in learning that process. Now that I'm done filming, I'd start this out just as I do any other edit. Just go over to new project and then import all of my photo and video. For this, I'm just selecting six of the videos that, six of the video clips that I'm going to be using. So just import those and then I will be aligning them based off of how I want my story to be told and how I want the sequencing to happen. Then for the second part here of speeding up these clips, I simply add in my captions and use the AI feature to add in those captions within CapCut, which is really easy to do. Just head over to the text over on the left hand side over here. And then there is the auto captions feature. Then you just click on create. It's as simple as that. Chooses all of the captions that you end up needing for your video. And then for this next part, I'll show you. You simply just go in and select what captions you do and what captions you don't want in your video. Now that we have all of our captions in our video, the first thing we're going to want to do is change it up, add some sort of template so it's not just plain text. Now, there are a lot of different options that CapCut has for different text, but typically I like stuff that's like one word, kind of similar to this one, um, similar to this one where it's just one word and then it just pops up for each word that's being said. So I'm going to try this one and just see how it looks. 
Um, I'm just gonna let it play out here. And this one, I like, I like this one a lot. So you can obviously test out some of the other ones. Like there's ones where it has it more, where there's multiple different words that are showing at the same time. Um, you could do ones where it shows like a couple words at the same time and they pop up. Um, typically, I like the look of just one. So I'm gonna pick this. Um, it automatically applies to all of them. So you don't have to do anything else. Then what you could do is go back into basic and then you could switch the color. So for this, I like just doing white text, make it plain, make it simple. So, and then as you can see, there's these green parts in here. So we wanna find out how to get rid of that. So it's literally just the one color here. So after playing around a little bit, I found out how to get rid of it. It's just having a highlight. So you can also add this little option up here to highlight some words. So if you wanna highlight a certain word, make sure that's highlighted. You know, if I want some of that stuff to be highlighted, but I don't want that, so not selecting any of that. And that's just gonna turn all the text to a plain white. So then I just go in and then I just select anything I don't wanna have. And if there's parts that I specifically wanna emphasize, then I'm gonna do that. So simply just going through anything that is not very important to the storyline, I wouldn't caption unless you really wanna make it apparent. Now, something as simple as just adding in these captions using AI helps speed up my video process by as much as giving me an hour extra of time, which allows me to focus on things like what type of camera shots I'm going to be including, um, what type of B-roll that I need to be using on my footage, rather than spending time doing these things that honestly aren't quite as important and can be done by artificial intelligence. I hope after going through this video, this helps show you how convenient and how great of an app CapCut is for speeding up your editing process and overall content creation process. They have so many different things that are available to use from their AI tools, the different audio effects, the different visual effects, transitions that you can use to help boost the viewing experience and as well your productivity. I hope you gained some value from this video. Down in the description below, I've included a link to go download CapCut. As well, you can go check out CapCut's website, capcut.com, to use CapCut completely from your desktop. As I mentioned, they also have their mobile app available too. I wanna to give a big shout out and thank you to CapCut for sponsoring because without them, this would not have been possible. Hope you gained a bunch of value from this. Make sure to like, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.